Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth44 for another weekly update. Um, this one, just a bunch of stuff to talk about. I'm going to save talking about the Smash Bros. Direct until the end in case you either just don't want to hear it or you haven't watched it yet and you, know, you just want to keep that to the thing. Um, so, a few things this week. <clears throat> First of all, Pants on Head Week. Uh... Uh, last week I told you that we were doing really well. Uh, the video ended up having to go up on Monday because of how long it took for me to put it together. We ended up with 108 separate um, or individual submissions. Uh, 108 different people joined this year, which was almost double last year. Almost, I think almost double. I think last year might have been 56. If it was 53, it was double, more than double. But yeah, almost double what last year was and we raised 216 dollars for the american foundation for suicide prevention so again thank you all um there's a huge push uh there's always a last minute push but there's a huge push um thanks in part to uh um people like juker uh who put it on uh the uh, game sharks discord and made a an incentive if we got to 100 for them to talk about uh, new stuff that they're adding uh, the Runaway Guys, Masei and Lukajin, all joined in, and uh, them helping out uh, really gave it a boost. Uh, so thank you all so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so we did we did a lot of good. Um, it was very fun, and I'm just overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed by all the people that we were able to get together and do this, because like so many new faces, and... Uh, it's really what I'm about. I love it. Just everyone getting together, you know? It's good stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, last week, the final episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door went up. Uh, we did the Pit of 100 Trials, uh, floors 50 through 100, and the Bone Tail fight, so that Let's Play is now done. Sadly. I'm going to miss it, but we're going to be focusing full-time on Wario Land Shake It and uploading VODs of Hat and Time Stream, and then maybe I'll start uploading Kingdom Hearts on the weekends eventually, but I want to um, focus on finishing Wario Land and then moving on to uh, my next project, which I've discussed in the past already, is going to be uh, re-plays of my original two Let's Plays, since they both have 3DS remakes. So look forward to that. Um, and... Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> uh, also, on the Sephiroth, you remember the Sephiroth, on the Sephiroth we started up a new series last week, Undertale Blind. John is doing uh, Pat Pure, or True Pacifist Route Blind, and I'm helping him along, and uh, I'm doing Genocide Route Blind. I have not played that on my own yet, so um, it's it's a thing. So you, uh, it's gonna be two separate series running concurrently. Um, you know, video of of each is going to go. Essentially, John is gonna get up to a certain point in uh, Pacifist, and then my video is doing the same amount of progress, but in uh, Genocide and it's going to be a thing. Excuse me, we've already re recorded a few episodes, and it already is a thing. Here, excuse me, I just I need to take a my tum. I'm getting a lot of acid stomach lately. Mm. Speaking of Undertale, um, Toby Fox last week released a survey program called Delta Rune. I'm not going to talk about it here in case people are still avoiding spoilers. I will respect that. But, um... I got an art piece I'll show later that you'll just look away for a second or something. Um, <laughs> but, um... I was very pleased to participate in this survey. Um, let's see, so... Uh, Blizzard had like a BlizzCon or just a, I don't know if it's an convent, entire convention going on or, or they were just uh, doing 
announcements but they announced like a new overwatch character ash uh who looks amazing she like dual wields a rifle and a shotgun and that's like instant instant like top tier in my mind you know got a shotgun you're you're the best so she looks really awesome and she's like a gang like a outlaw gang leader so she can like call in robot and uh, an omnic um like brute to beat people up it looks really good she looks really good uh so i can't wait to try her out um i don't play overwatch a lot i just kind of go in and out every so often there's a new character to have fun with it um the characters are free so you know i've i've purchased the game i may as well play it every so often <clears throat> um they also announced that they're remastering warcraft 3 ah oh man warcraft 3 was my jam as a kid drinking game gotta come to my streams to understand the drink game uh also uh tuesday night we're going uh we're continuing um kingdom hearts 9 p.m eastern so you better you better show up um, but yeah, uh, we got pretty far in Kingdom Hearts, but yeah, uh, Warcraft 3 is great. Um, I grew up with, with Blizzard, um, like Warcraft 2 and then Starcraft and Warcraft 3. Like I, I, I grew up on RTSs, even though like I don't have the strategy for it. Like I'm really bad at it. I would never play competitively, but I love it. Like I love those games so much. And Warcraft 3, like even when I was like a early teenager, Warcraft 3, was one of the first games that I got to play online modes. Um, they had like an entire wealth of um, like make your own game things. Like that's where Defense of the Ancients, you know, Dota came from. It was created as a Warcraft 3 online mod thing. Uh, it was tower defenses that I used to love doing. So like lots of things and I would play a lot like against actual people and like so much more than I do today. <laughs> um, I don't really do online today, but like when I was a kid and it was Warcraft 3, like, yeah, battle.net, this is awesome! Um, so, yeah, it was fantastic. And they're, so they're remastering it, and they're including like the custom game mode thing uh, still, like they like they did with StarCraft 2. So, like, I'm really looking forward to it because it was great, and um, I love Warcraft 3's story. I played through Reign of Chaos and the Frozen Throne. Um, I was really sad that they went to World of Warcraft as opposed to making a Warcraft 4, but um, it is what it is, and I, I've made my peace with it. Uh, at least we got StarCraft 2, and StarCraft 2, and StarCraft 2. Um, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it because I just I love playing it. I still have like all my CDs, but they don't really work too well in Windows 10. So like getting a chance to play like a remastered version like they did with StarCraft 1. Uh, which I love the remaster, um, is going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I love I love it so much. <laughs> I quote it so much, too. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. I quote that and StarCraft 2 a lot in my videos. Kaboom, baby! This is a StarCraft 2 quote. You've probably heard me say that a lot. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, before I get into art... Um, one last thing is that Tuesday in the United States is election day. Um, please vote if you can. If you're eligible to vote, please do it. Um, I also ask that on top of that, you just do at least a little bit of research beforehand um, into the candidates. Like if, you know, most people get like a in the mail anyway like for us we get like a ballot just to get us familiar with what it looks like um look at the candidates there and just google them or something uh and just look it up and see who you're voting for is going to be like you know senate and and house but there's also local elections and those actually like really affect you the the senate and the house are important but like the local elections are usually a lot closer so like and those are like things that actually affect your immediate living area and not just the country at large so like there's usually a question or two questions of like things that they would like to implement that people have to vote on and usually involves like you know allowing or disallowing like things like taxes or whatever and just make sure you're informed and i'm not going to tell you who to vote for because that is not my place uh but 
I will just ask you to please be informed on who you vote for. Try to find someone to vote for and not just someone to vote against. But if you're just voting against, then make sure make sure you pick the lesser of the two evils, I guess. Um, and yeah, here's hoping that uh, we can just pick the right people and make the country a better place. Or at least, you know, make your local area a better place. Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but it kind of sucks over here. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's that's my little spiel on that. Please please just try to vote. It is important. It's always important. And I, I every time it comes up, um, I always say this, even if it doesn't seem like it's the most important election, it, it, it is. <laughs> um, big things have been decided by a small amount of votes, and uh, it's amazing what the power of people can be uh, if they really get together and care and not just complain on the internet. Um, so it's important. And uh, again, even if things seem hopeless, it's, you know, the fact that you are actively doing something uh, to try to change is important. Anyway, getting out of the philosophical talk there. Um, Inktober finished up, and I actually, I actually finished it. Like I was really surprised. Um, so I was really behind. I don't. Th I think I showed you last week stuff like the Eight Bit Theater. Um, if I didn't, I'm sorry. Pretty sure I drew these all like previously. Um, expensive was cosplay. Uh, muddy was the scene from. Um, uh, hand time. I think this is a newer one. Uh, day 24 was Chop. So I did Kirby with the Megaton Punch in uh, uh, Kirby Superstar. I don't remember if I showed this last week or not because I was really behind. But yeah, I really enjoy I really enjoy the mini game. I love the fact that you just do a little chop there and it just cracks the entirety of Popstar. Uh, day 25 was Prickly. So we have the um, Gigant uh, Gigantoir. Um, the um, from FF6 slash other Final Fantasies is it? Um, no, I definitely showed these last week because there's Monkey D. Luffy, and I remember specifically I mentioned One Piece, and it drew in uh, Midnight Beyond like a bug zapper. Just like he can't he can't avoid it. He hears me say the word One Piece or the the phrase. It's not one word, and uh, all of a sudden it just pops in. It's great. You're predictable, Jeffrey. You're predictable. Also, Jeffrey started an Undertale Let's Play. You should check it out. Um, it's good stuff. Also, Detroit Become Human. I'm enjoying that. Uh, anyway, um, day 28. This is definitely a new gift. Was Deli Bird. Deli. So that was fun. Uh, day 29 was Double. So I drew a scene from uh, Paper Mario where you're in the uh, the Crystal Palace. I can hear the the background music in my head. I don't know if you can. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. You ever you ever just see a scene from a video game and you can hear the background music from the place? Like I can hear the Crystal Palace theme in my head right now. I can't sing it well, but I can hear it. But yeah, that's where you blow up the wall and a whole bunch of bombettes come out and it's uh <laughs> And they're all duple ghosts and they're really bad at what they do because they talk weird. Uh day thirty was Jolt, so I did Luigi uh zapping Mario from Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga. Was well, not that great, but eh. And the final day, uh, day 31 was Slice, which was a slice of pineapple pizza. No pineapple. Unfortunately, um, part of the, uh, before, before Pants on Head Week started, um, Juker DM'd me on Discord and said, how many, how many Pants on Head for you to eat a slice of pineapple pizza? So me... Being the idiot that I am, said I would I, I would say sixty, but I know you people, and you would somehow find a way. So one hundred. 
So now I'm obligated to eat a slice of pineapple pizza thanks to my big mouth. <sighs> Dovey. Um, so yeah. So that was uh, Inktober. I finished up. I'm really happy I was able to do... I wasn't able to do one per day. Some days, like, it was just a, a chunk. But I did 30... I did all 31 prompts. And, um, yeah, that's a lot more consistency than I expect for myself. Um, also this past week, I did a picture. And that picture, I showed you a uh, preview of it um, last time, perhaps? Or other another time? A uh, picture was of Sonya Nevermind from Danganronpa 2, Ultimate Princess, if it will. There we go. Um, so yeah, I really like how it came out. It's just, I don't know, I enjoy it. Um, there's styles that I like better than this, but this is the style that I wanted to draw the picture, so I'm happy with it, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah. She's like my second or third favorite character in Danganronpa 2. So, I'm happy. I uh, also made like a, uh, a shirt design. Uh, if you want to go to Redbubble, I think there's links in the description generally. Um, on Redbub Redbubble, there's like merch and stuff. So if you want to get like a shirt or a print or something, or sticker. Um, Sonia, Ultimate Princess, you know. Um, let's see. So, what else did I do? Oh yeah, so here's all, uh, just look away for a second. I drew character from Deltarune. Um, it's a fluffy boy. It's kind of, see, at least the other one was like, you didn't have the reflection. I used an all back black, uh, all back background. There we go. All black background. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really like it. Like I said, he's fluffy. Uh, there was a Runaway Guy stream on Wednesday night, Tuesday night, Tuesday night, because uh, Wednesday we did we did Kingdom Hearts. So Tuesday I didn't stream because of that, um, and uh, it was great. They were doing like Jackbox and a whole bunch of other stuff, and I drew a bunch of fun memes for it. I'm not gonna shove that in your face, but they are on Twitter. Um, one was just for a product that Masei made called Stop Talking, which was just a gun. Uh, it was great. It was a fun stream. There was a lot of a lot of memes. Good times. Uh, let's see, Inktober, Sonia. I had I wrote I wrote this down so I wouldn't have to like scroll through everything. Uh, so that's it. Aside from. Nintendo Direct. So again, if you don't want to hear the Smash Bros. Direct for some reason, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. But otherwise... Let's do this. So, in order of what I've actually written down here, which might not be all the information because some things didn't appeal to me, um, Sakurai said, well, we're going to show you all the fighters that are going to be in the game at launch now. So they revealed uh, the last two fighters in the game, and that is uh, Ken from Street Fighter, who's going to be an echo of Ryu, which makes sense, and Incineroar, which people were either guessing highly or leaking or whatever. Uh, but yeah, got Incineroar, and uh, I need to prop myself up over here. Got Incineroar, and um, he looks very fun. He has his you know wrestling type move set from. Uh, the Pokemon games, and I, I think it works really well. He, like, makes, like, a wrestling pose after every move that he does, and it's just, it looks fun. He looks fun. Um, next, he talked about uh, spirits. Spirits are kind of like a, a gotcha version of the stickers from Brawl, if you remember. Like, you could attach stickers to, like, the bottom of the character trophies, and, um, powered them up a little bit so like spirits are like instead of the trophy system so that they can include more characters and i assume not make like 3d models of everything it's a lot easier to make 2d pictures rather than a billion 3d models um so it's like their their way of including all of the side characters that didn't make the cut 
in various ways, uh, whether through assist or whatever. Uh, so like you can equip them for like passive effects or like, you know, make you metal or giant or attack up or your smash powers up or whatever. Um, and you have like a main one and then you have like three secondary slots. So it looked really interesting. And, uh, there was like a, a, a triangle advantage of like attack, grab and shield, um, it kind of looked like it was like an event event match like system like you the spirits attached to a certain character would emulate what the spirit was so like the f battle would feel like you know as close as possible to fighting whatever the spirit is as opposed to just fighting like you know a giant k rule uh, you would be fighting uh the imprisoned from skyward sword and like a would be in the battle and and k rule would be giant and just kind of walking around so like that kind of thing like they it looks like they used a lot of creativity with it, and I, I appreciate that. Like, trying to think, okay, how can we turn, you know, these characters into, like, Sonic, two Sonics, or three, three Sonics, into the, um, the Able Sisters, because they're hedgehogs. Like, you know, you fight them on the, on the Animal Crossing stage, and they're all, like, tinier and, and, and use drills. Like, you know, it's it's just, it's clever. It's very clever, and, like, you wouldn't think of some of these things. Um, there's a thing called Global Smash Power, which is, like, your ranking online and whatever. Uh, if you get to a high enough Global Smash or something, uh, you can unlock Elite Battles, uh, which are, you know, highest tier stuff that I'll probably never get up to, um, and a whole bunch of other interesting online features, and um, it gives you like battles with people that are relatively close to you I'm assuming so that the internet connection is better it sounds like it's peer-to-peer -peer, though which I'm scared because brawl did not do well with that but we'll see um, they have an online so like it shouldn't do that but we'll, we'll see um, they talked about assists uh, there are going to be 59 assist trophies in total which is pretty cool um and including isaac from golden sun which i'm so happy about a lot of people are like eh, i want him as a character i didn't want him as a character i wanted him back he was an assist in brawl and then they took him out for smash 4 but they brought him back and now he just he doesn't just do move like across the field he does like a whole bunch of other types of synergy like he's more active and that's cool uh also dr wiley which looked really cool and Black Knight from Fire Emblem, which I was like, that was my, outside of Isaac coming back, I really wanted Black Knight as a assist. Like, that was my other wish, so I was really happy, because Black Knight is fantastic. I would love, like, to somehow get Hector in there, but I'll, I'll be happy with just Black Knight um, going around using his uh, Fire Emblem Heroes voice lines. Um... Uh, they talked about uh, Century Smash, which is 100 man melee, um, All Star mode, which is All Star mode. Um, there's like a, a video editing thing, so you can you know you can save replays, but it also lets you cut them up, so that's nice. Uh, challenges like they've had in previous games, it looks like there are less, but it's not terrible. They're probably just different. Um, me fighter costumes of like the Splatoon 2 Inklings and Rex from Xenoblade 2, uh, Ribbon Girl. Uh, that was another another assist was uh, Springman uh, from Arms. Um, so yeah, the uh, um, a lot of people wanted Rex as a character, but the the costume kind of oh well. Um, he also announced that in the future there's going to be five DLC characters and they're each going to have uh, the DLC packs are going to come with a character a stage and a whole load of music so uh, none of the new DLC characters have actually been announced yet uh, but they're going to be released through the end of 2020 or no through February 2020 not the end it's so like it's like a year and four months so 12 let's say 16 months total so 16 and 5 is like every three-ish months they'll release a new uh 
DLC characters. That's not too bad, actually. That's, that's a nice time frame in between each. Enough to get used to the character and build up hype for the next one. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And he also announced that if you buy the game, um, you'll get a free DLC character that they've been working that they're working on that's that's not attached to the uh to the season pass piranha plant <laughs> when they announced that i was just like excuse me excuse me like out of all the left field weird things piranha plant and it was beautiful it was the internet like there was a mixture of like actual like glee at seeing such a weird choice and so much salt <laughs> like piranha plant really uh i'm looking forward to it It looks like the moveset's fantastic but i love the silly characters in general anyway so like it's it's gonna be great and i can't wait to see what the heck kirby is gonna look like uh there was speculation on proton john stream last night uh <laughs> but yeah mm, it's good stuff good stuff um, and then at the very end, he's like, okay, so, uh, one last thing, you know, since there's, like, no adventure mode, um, like, subspace emissary, we would like to talk about spirits mode. And they went into a cutscene where everyone is, like, gearing up to fight this massive army of Master Hands. And then, like, all the Master Hands gloves peel away, and they become pure energy, and there's this big thing in the sky that's a whole bunch of wings, and it just sends out beams of light and kills everybody except Kirby. <laughs> Kirby gets away by going 88 miles an hour and going to the future, you know, something. Um but yeah, so so Kirby gets away and is just kind of alone and all of the people it, it turns into like a Kingdom Hearts cutscene like all everybody everybody like starts like their trophies after being killed, their trophies like you know get duplicated and have spirits attached to them and makes them evil and then like spirit mode is like like a an overworld type map of like going from event battle to event battle and like there's boss fights they showed off the the rathalos they showed off uh gallium i'm pretty sure the guy's name is uh from subspace emissary it's like imagine if they bring back the porky boss fight I'm hoping that they bring back some of the boss fights from subspace because they can do that here. They could just make boss fights and it would be so cool. Like they at least have one. <laughs> they at least teased one, which like it gives me hope that like, you know, maybe taboo. I don't want taboo, but maybe or just like other things. If you know, if they want to put in like the enemies that they had in like Smash Run or Adventure Mode in Melee or Subspace Emissary, the uh, the Primids, I would love that nintendo um but yeah whatever we get it's it looks like it's gonna be really great um but everyone is dead uh the fun thing is i made a meme of that and uh just like one of those like fake news headline things you know like breakingnews.com or something it's like just a kirby zooming away on on his warp star and it's just like local boy a local good boy saves world you know uh has done all his chores uh, quoted as saying "Puyo" and like death toll is whatever, and uh, and it got picked up. It uh, it uh, went fairly viral, and my notifications have only just now started to trickle down. Um, I still get like one or two, and it sucks, but. <laughs> It doesn't suck, but um, right now it is at 7,111 retweets and 19,289 likes, which um, previous to this, the best that I had ever done was um, uh, from a previous Smash Bros. Direct where I did the, you know, um, a moment of silence for the characters we lost it was Mega Man, Luigi, Mario, and King DDD. Um, so that was like 4,000 likes. But yes, yeah, so this has been absolutely crazy. My, I, it, it broke Twitter. I had to turn off notifications on my phone and like everything. So it's not going to happen again because, you know, it was the last Smash Direct, but alas, um, it was fun while it lasted. But yeah, God, 
Um, it was even popular enough to be stolen by uh, a news source, uh, Gamnesia, until I complained. Um, and I was even in a Vice article. <laughs> what does that equal in the world of Dovey? Absolutely nothing. Meme popularity doesn't mean anything, guys. It's just... It doesn't mean anything. It's not even a... It's not even a... It's just... It, it just it's, it's pointless, but... Um, it's still fun to watch. <laughs> it's very fun to watch. Um, it's not fun when I'm trying to, like, see if I get notifications or mentions from people that I follow or people that actually follow me, though. Because those just all got buried over the weekend. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I'm really excited for Smash Bros. It's coming out in a month-ish. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go is coming out in a few weeks. So that's cool. Um, Katamari's coming out on the same day as Smash Bros. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, and Magfest is coming up. I gotta start drawing things for Magfest. Uh, and yeah, uh, thank you to the people who support me on Patreon. It is very, um, very appreciated. And, uh, those people got behind-the-scenes stuff for the, uh, the Sonya pick. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, look forward to more stuff there. And... That's about it. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you very much for sticking through me. Thank you very much for being nice people. Um, and uh, stay awesome, everybody. Bye-bye.